Oha. Wana kola iuha ichichia chante washte nape chayus papelo. I want to send a message of greeting, a message of strength and solidarity to all of our brothers and sisters who are gathering in person, who are gathering in digital spaces. It is with great urgency, with great purpose that we offer our time, we offer our energy and our spirits to the common cause of not only DC statehood, but of a regenerative economy, a renewable way of life. Now that we have the ability to sit and perceive from our perch, we can see that Western civilization has taken a wrong term somewhere. This is not to say a word about the genocide of indigenous peoples of the Americas. This is not to say a word of the transatlantic slave trade, which captured indigenous Africans and brought them here to, to our hemisphere. This is not to say a word of the institutions of white supremacy, which are in place today, which are executed against black and brown bodies, against indigenous nations, and the movement toward black liberation. This is just to assess and to analyze Western civilization itself. It has brought us to the brink, to the precipice of an extinction level event for the human species. The world is not ending but for the human species, their world is certainly ending because of the lack of vision, because of the lack of leadership, because of the racial and working class subjugation and oppression that we together can undo. We together can seek a different way of life. This is possible through DC statehood. It is long past due that all of our brothers and sisters in DC who are at the seat of our nation's capital, who are in the belly of the beast, get the, the recognition and the due that they deserve and on behalf of indigenous nations, the original civilizations of this hemisphere, I fully and with my whole being support DC statehood. I, it was my plan to join you today, brothers and sisters, and the least I could do is send my words of encouragement over the digital sphere. And I am with you there in spirit. We cannot relent. We cannot give an inch because right now, the survival of our country, the survival of our body politic depends on whether or not we're able to figure out how to work together, whether or not we're able to graduate from those differences those classifications like race, like religion that were imposed on us. Can we liberate from those differences and survive as a people that also respects those differences, but we have to come together because we are under attack, not only by the racist radical right, but from the outside. There are other nation states that do not want to see us succeed. So I want to end my message here 
in solidarity with everybody gathered there today, in person and online. Keep the strength, my relatives, mitakuye oyasi.